What is the purpose of the physical world? Okay, um, this is from Carl Barry. The purpose of the physical world, right, is a training ground, right? Um, just like when you watch the movie The Matrix, you know, there was a, a simulation where Neo went into and um, he was taught Kung Fu and downloaded. So the earth or the physical world, because there are dimensions. And what people tend to forget is like, you have to think of the physical world as everything vibrates, right? So really, it, when you break things down, they're atoms held together. And depending on the vibration or the frequency, they will either be more dense, as in hard and thick, than if it was a higher vibration, which is going to be lighter or maybe not visible to the naked eye. So as I've mentioned, that's in our, all of that is on the course and in our book where we explain the nine different realms. And you have people that will say the realms, there are more than nine realms, of course. But the thing is, as I've explained before, numbers go from zero to nine. And after that, the rest are literally compound numbers. So yes, there will be a vibration or a realm higher than nine. So 11, 12, 13, etc. But those are just compounds. Now, what I'm basically trying to explain is that the different realms are just different states of vibration. Like if you think about it like colors, right? You might have, let's say, red, um, yellow, green, the, the main colors that we're familiar with. And even though you might recognize a red to be a red, there are variations or different millions of variations or different shades of red. So when you're looking at the physical world, right, there are millions of variations. And then on top of that, you have the plane of force. And then you have the spiritual plane. You have the mental plane. Or, and you have the soul plane, I'm sorry, then you have the mental plane. And then you keep going and you have different ethers all the way to nine. So the lowest, the lowest vibrations, um, you're here in the physical world to master it, to learn everything you need to learn in the lower dimensions. And once you've mastered them, then you move up to the next level. So, so let's say... Um, you know, you, you were on the physical plane. This is where you deal with time, matter, temperature, your skin suit. So, you know, you use your skin suit for locomotion. Um, you know, you have, to, you have to train. You do everything for the body, but then your spirit body is inside your physical body as well as your, the plasmatic you, as well as your etheric being. So, yeah, the answer is as simple as you're here to learn, to master the physical plane and then you move up. So sometimes people try to be so spiritual, but they haven't mastered the basics or the physical plane. So in the physical plane, you need to eat, you need to buy things, you need, you know, you need to do certain things physically. So you can't just sit in your house and just meditate all day, just be spiritual, because you're gonna need to eat at some point, because your physical body requires that you give it nutrients. What you eat and what you put into your body is a different story, but yeah, the point is you can't be so spiritual that you neglect the physical. Um, you know, people say, oh, money, I don't need any money because I'm just about being spiritual. However, money is a frequency, it's a currency, and the system, the matrix has set it up in a way that you need money to, to pay rent, to buy food, to pay mortgages, to do things. So we're not so ignorant, even though economics, you can hear the word con in the middle of economics, like the word contract, um, your conduct of your money, but you still have to be able to know how to navigate this world, how to have money. It's not having money that's the problem, it's the love of money. This is where people misquote. They say the, lo the love of money, yeah, is the root of evil. And that's the love of it, where you love money so much that you forget about real things, about love, about empathy, about caring, about compassion. You know, that's where it gets twisted. So having money is not, it's not evil. You need money to navigate. So master the physical world, and then you can master the other worlds or the other realms.